cooking and what I have here is a hundred grams of homemade black powder and I've made a trail people and at the end of that trail is a pack of thunder snaps guys what's going to happen well stay tuned because we're gonna find out oh it's going down it's going down. and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this it's a hundred grams of homemade gunpowder or black powder as it's known in the trade now this stuff is extremely easy to make and if I can make this you can make it too all you need is three key ingredients and I'll be showing you how to make this and be making this in this video and at the end stay tuned because we'll be doing some experiments involving our homemade black powder but if you can get the hang of making this homemade gunpowder I'll be showing you in the future how to make these black powder rockets And also these homemade bangers, so you can do this. Banger. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, so this is what you're gonna need to make your homemade black powder. You're gonna need some potassium nitrate. You can get this very, very easily offline. Um, it's called KNO3 um, in the trade, however, um, just look for pure potassium nitrate um, so you can get that offline also you'll be needing some sulfur get the finely grounded powder stuff here it just makes the mixing process um, far easier and it makes the end product a lot more explosive in my opinion if you take your time to finally mix the ingredients correctly also willow charcoal you cannot use any other forms of charcoal in my opinion things like activated charcoal will not work look for willow charcoal um, willow charcoal will act as a sponge and allow you to um, pound the sulfur and the potassium nitrate into it um, thus they're uh, creating um, your homemade black powder also you'll need a sift because um, as you go um, and as you weigh your ingredients out and mix it up you'll be wanting to put it through this sieve and make sure it's as fine as possible some kind of mixing stick do not use a metal spoon or a metal mixing stick they are conductive and you literally could go up in flames people okay so use a plastic mixing spoon and a container to mix all your stuff in at the end now as you can see I've got all my stuff weighed out here so the actual ratio that you're going to need to create your own black powder is 75 grams of potassium nitrate, which I have here. Also, there's sulfur, 10 grams of sulfur, which I have here also. And you can see here I have my willow charcoal, 15 grams. So 15 grams, 10 grams, 75 grams. All of these ingredients you can buy offline, eBay and even Amazon. So you can get all this stuff fairly easily. Now, as you can see, I've got all my ingredients weighed out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix half willow charcoal, half sulfur and half of the potassium nitrate. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it in the container, mix half of the, the, the ingredients and then pour the rest of the ingredients in. Um, so I'll get back to you when I've got all of this in my container and ready for mixing. Okay guys, so, so far I've got half of my total ingredients um, inside my mixing container. I've had the top on, I've been mixing it by hand, shaking it by hand for a couple, good couple of minutes and then taking the top off and then bashing the ingredients together um, with my stick here plastic stick um, and i'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the ingredients in now and do the same again okay guys so i've got all my ingredients um thoroughly thoroughly mixed finely sieved and all together now and i've been shaking this for a good four and a half five minutes now and then in between taking the top off and bashing the ingredients together and making sure that that sulfur and that potassium nitrate is well bashed into the willow charcoal 
um, so we get a good ignition at the end with the final product. So, there we go. A hundred grams of your finest homemade black powder. Now, there's only one thing to do, and that's to go outside and see how successful we were and how explosive this powder is. But guys, before we do, don't forget to hit that subscribe and drop a comment and give me a thumbs up. Now let's go. Okay guys, so experiment number two. I've made a trail of homemade gunpowder and it's about three feet long. And at the end of it is a pack of thunder snaps. Guys, what's gonna happen? I think I know what's gonna happen at the end here. Um, however, I'll leave it up to your imagination. Now, let's see what happens. And I'm standing well back for this, guys. Oh, it's going down. It's going down, and there's plenty of smoke from that sulfur. It's still going. Okay, I'm standing back for this. Here we go. Damn. Let's inspect the carnage, people. <laughs> that last bang almost got me. Seriously. But there's hardly anything left of the box, people. No remnants whatsoever, and this one seemed to have got away, but not as spectacular as I thought, but that last bang almost got me. Um, but yeah, we are dealing with a box of essentially nitric acid, so, you know, that's what thunder snaps are made from. Well, however, explosive, well... I thought it was. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Thank you to the new subscribers. And if you can subscribe and drop a comment, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video, guys.